Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create beautiful multicolored prints and also create your own custom color for 3D printing with equipment that you already own. Hello everybody, I'm Sunshine and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own filament to create multicolored prints and also to create your own custom color and you can do all that by simply 3D printing it. Now, the idea is simple. You start printing in one color, and then you do a color swap in the middle, say from green to red, and then you end up with a filament that will create a beautiful multicolored print. The way this works is when you print this multicolored filament, you have two colors down the length of the filament, and these two colors don't mix fully in the extruder. What you end up with is that you have red on one side and green on the other side, depending on the movement and the orientation of the printhead. Here are some examples. Red and blue gives this beautiful multicolored combination I call blueberry. Green and red gives, of course, strawberry. And yellow and purple gives you ricer mustang. There are, of course, lots of other beautiful color combinations you can do with this. I've also tried triple color with eh, limited success. However, the big question is how can you make this a single uniform color? Since while multicolored prints are really beautiful, they're not that practical. Last week I posted a picture of this Game Boy battery cover. However, once we put it on the Game Boy we saw eh, the colors don't really match up. If I would have used this technique earlier, I could have easily changed the color of that backplate to fit to match the Game Boy. So if you want a consistent color and not a multicolored print like I've shown you until now, how will you go about doing that? Since the 3D printed filaments is multiple layers high and multiple lines wide, you take your already 3D printed filament with the two color combinations and reprint the 3D printed filament file with it. So you end up with a filament that is a single color because it mixes it up quite well. A good example of this is this tree frog. So, to get this single color tree frog, I first had to print a 3D printed filament that is orange and purple, and then I had to use this to print another roll of filament that is a more dark color. And using that filament, we can finally print this beautiful little tree frog, the color of which I like to call subscribe button red. To try this, there are a few things you have to pay attention to. First of all, once you've printed this, um, you will have to up the flow on your 3D printer quite a bit because the amount of material you get for one millimeter of this does not, is not the same as a normal filament. Personally, I got some really good results with, by using 150% flow rate. As you can see, some of my prints are slightly under extruded and I think this is because my build plate is... Um, yes. Which basically results in that the width of the filament that you 3D print, or that I 3D print, is not always completely accurate. So some places it's thinner and some places it's thicker. I tried to print a temperature tower to see how the temperature affects the mixing of the two uh, filaments. Um, however, I didn't. The results are, what I would say, inconclusive. So if anybody else wants to like do some more testing, I would really appreciate it if you upload your results to the internet somewhere, so we can like, you know. Also, if you decide to print this, uh, I can also recommend to try out my 3D printed zip ties that I published in my last video, because otherwise you'll end up with a tangled... Yeah, that's not gonna print that well, is it? Oh, look, it's, it's, it's a springo! Aha! Thank you for watching and like, comment and subscribe. Okay, bye.